Hey everyone, it's Alex and welcome to this Marvel Snap Beginner's Guide where we'll be discussing the best way to spend gold for new players in Marvel Snap. This guide entails the PC launch of Marvel Snap, which is essential because the PC launch and the original mobile launch in October of 2022, the economies of the game are completely different, the way gold is dispersed is completely different, so this guide is going to help ensure that you don't waste your gold, so watch it all the way through. i got a lot of tidbits and I'm going to teach you how you got to evaluate bundles in the future as well. So, let's get started. The first thing to understand is the general baseline. Now, I'm Canadian, so I get in Canadian pricing here, but the baseline for gold in progression is as follows. 1,500 credits for 1,200 gold. That's the baseline, okay? The reason why I think this is important, because as a new player, you should care less about, like, variants and cosmetics and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not saying you can't care about them. They're cool, right? It's Marvel Snap. The art's the best part to some degree. But, like, at the same time, you want to progress your account you want to unlock more cards you want to progress your collection score so you can gain access to more cards to build more decks that's what you want you're a card game player you want more cards so the baseline of progression of 1500 credits for 1200 gold is important to keep in mind because it's in like the 20 something dollar range for the average person right so anytime you surpass that number of credits for that amount of gold or that amount of money you're choosing a bundle or you're using your gold in a way that progresses you faster than simply just buying gold in the shop and then buying credits with it that's an important consideration now right off the top i want to nullify a misnomer about using your gold so during the original launch and this is essential that you know this a lot of advice was floating around that you need to spend your gold on mission refills do not do that. That is complete garbage now. The reason why this is garbage is because like your mission refills, yes, they provide value in credits and in uh, your season pass points, which is actually one of the only places you're going to find gold again, because gold has been removed from the collection track now in the most recent update of Marvel Snap. Okay, You still get it in the season pass and in the season pass free caches. These extra bonus caches after level 50, okay, because after level 50 you get your, your extra variant. These ones here, which are available for free to all players, can contain gold. This is critically important because no longer in the standard collector's reserves can a player get gold as of recording. So gold has become much more scarce for players and therefore you can't just waste it. So when we originally had suggested using your gold to, re to kind of refill missions, that was because you were getting more gold of the natural progression through your collection system. That no longer is the case. Using gold in this manner is a waste. Don't do it. So Alex, how do I use that gold? The best way to use your gold as a new player to Marvel Snap, especially if you're free to play, is to save and hoard your gold until bundles come out that provide you with the greatest return on progression. What that means is that there's going to be bundles that give you a lot of credits for the amount of gold that you're spending. Remember, 1,500 credits costs 1,200 gold in the shop. So anytime you surpass that by a wide margin, you're getting additional progression to level up your count for the same amount of gold. So let's take a look at this bundle, the Stegosaurus Rex. Now this bundle has expired, but it's a good baseline to show you of what a good bundle looks like. So for 7,500 gold, forget about the rest, forget about the, the card, forget about the card back, forget about the avatar, the boosters, the title, that's all like fluff in my opinion. As a new player, what you're after are these credits, you're after additional gold and tokens to a certain degree, Although I do think that tokens are generally overvalued in the community and we'll discuss that when the time comes. Now the stats you're seeing here are being provided by Marvel Snap Zone. I think they do a very good job of breaking down bundles. I think the clarity they provide is good. I do think they overvalue tokens, but we'll discuss that in a second. So a bundle like this, why is this bundle worth it for a new player? Well, yes, 7,500 gold is a lot, but you're getting 12,000 credits, which represents a significant amount of progression on the collection base track, which is exactly what you want. You want to unlock cards fast. You're going to be going up there, getting those spotlight caches when you unlock them. So you want to get that gold, right? And when you consider that, okay, the total net price of this bundle would have been $163 United States dollars, or just dollars going forward. You'll say that, okay, so the 7,500 uh, 7, gold, that's pretty much worth it because I'm getting a whole ton of credits here, especially since the actual progression price is $137. You're getting a lot of value for your credits, right? And the gold to credit conversion is greatly in favor of this bundle as opposed to buying it in the shop. Once again, 1,500 credits, 1,200 gold per purchase. 
you're getting way more than that, which is good. That's exactly what we want, right? So you're getting some additional progression here, which makes things good. So let's take a look, uh, look at another example here. So this is a bad example that's coming up. So once again, 7,500 credits, and this is a bundle that focuses much more on the artwork. Yes, you get a cool Dark Hawk and a Master Mold. The, the art looks absolutely fantastic. Dark Hawk being a very meta relevant card. So this is a card that like you might just want in your, your arsenal. But the credits from a progression standpoint are 7,200 credits, right? Versus the 12,000 you're getting from this uh, the other bundle that we just spoke about with Stegron. For me, that makes this a far weaker proposition for a new player. So once again, you want gold for credits if you want to add your progression to the mix, which is exactly what you want. So this is an upcoming bundle that I don't think is worth it. Now, this could very much change at launch. Like it's happened before where all of a sudden this is 10,000 and that changes everything completely. However, as of right now, as of recording, 7,200 credits is not enough. This is a poor value bundle. If you're free to play player and you want to play Marvel Snap for a long time, you would save your gold. You just save your gold and wait for that next bundle that gives you the most progression. Gold is extremely valuable. You don't want to waste it and be impatient. So this bundle doesn't do it for me. And then we look at something like this. Now, if you're going to spend money in the game, right? There's a ton of different bundles. And uh, I will say also as a new player, you're going to see bundles that I never see. There are new player specific bundles with like Thor and others that are like super high value that we don't really kind of uh, get access to. Right. So those generally represent much higher value than standard bundles and a starter bundle with like Captain America is pretty damn good as well. So that's worth picking up. But let's take a look at the Hail Hydraulics bundle with Red Skull. So first of all, it's also worth noting that anytime you buy a bundle with a card variant, you actually get that variant into your collection which means if you don't have that card you can use this variant as the card so essentially you buy this you buy this bundle you get access to red skull so if you have something like shuri suddenly that makes a whole lot of sense but for 25 dollars you're getting a thousand gold right okay that's almost that's almost a significant amount of value right there so once again you know 1200 gold in the shop is pretty expensive it's almost 20 bucks as it is so you're getting a lot back just in the gold you're getting the progression in the credits so this represents an immense amount of value from a progression standpoint this 25 bucks is basically giving you $60 worth of progression. So this is a bundle. This is the kind of bundle you want to spend your money on because you get that progression as a new player. You get to kind of unlock things, uh, which is nice, which is nice. Now, when talking about a bundle that's going to be coming up very shortly in Marvel Snap, we're going to talk about the Too Cute, Too Furious bundle. And again, this is a baseline bundle. This is why I wanted to showcase it. So again, if you want Iron Man, I mean, you don't need the Iron Man because it starts as a starter card. So you don't even need this card. And Jane Foster, if you don't have Lockjaw, it's pretty much a useless card. So you don't need the card Jane Foster. So you're looking at the credits. Is 2,500 credits worth 2,000 gold? Well, not really. It's essentially near the baseline of what you buy in the shop. You want to use your gold when the uh, value of the gold and the progression exceeds what you can get in the shop. That's when it's valuable. Or when there's a card like Darkhawk that you really, really want but then you're wasting your progression, okay? So this bundle is weak because it does not provide enough value for a gold uh, to credit perspective, okay? So what you're gonna be looking for in the future are, are bundles like this. Now, again, we can only look so far in the future because of the way that data mines work and stuff like that, and things change rapidly. But this is an example of what you want. Right now, if you're a new player, you should be saving your gold. Like okay, I'm recording this in September, uh, August, September time. Um, you should be saving your gold unless a bundle comes out that's really worth it from a progression standpoint because it's very hard to reaccumulate that gold. You start with a bunch, you get some from the season passes and stuff, but if you waste it, it's just gone. It's just gone and it can feel really bad, right? So that is essentially how you should be using your gold in Marvel Snap as a new player. Do not roll them on the new missions. That is a waste. That is old advice that was from the mobile launch of the game before bundles even existed. What you want to do is you want to hoard your gold and spend that gold when bundles with excessive amounts of progression are present for you to purchase in Marvel Snap. I hope this video helped you guys. Welcome to Marvel Snap. If you have any questions, let me know. But most importantly, hit the subscribe button. I keep you up to date with the meta. I release daily videos of Marvel Snap. And I'd love for you to join our wonderful community live on Twitch as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in that next Marvel Snap video.